Hi guys, Little DIY. Um, today we are going to be making blueberry muffins that don't have butter or whole eggs. They have egg whites instead. As you know, I don't edit my videos, so if I mess up, you guys feel like it's normal and okay just because I hate watching videos and then like everything goes perfect. I'm just like, why is everything going wrong? Um, so to start off with, we want to set our oven to 400 degrees, and then I already set up my baking, my muffin pans, my cupcake sheets, whatever you want to call them. I set up two, I think it makes one and a half. So to start off with, you want one cup of um, flour, just so you guys know, none of this is sponsored, I'm just telling you my preferred brands and... What I like to do personally, you guys can always go with whatever you like and what you want to do. And I already washed my hands. So it's just one cup of flour. I already am making a mess. I don't know if you guys can see the mess, but I'm on my shitty little tripod that doesn't really move. Now the calories after this, because I'm actually watching my weight and I've already lost 10 pounds so far. Um, it's only 280 calories. I usually have this in the morning for my breakfast. Just so I stop. In high school and all that, I had breakfast because my mom made me. And then like when I went to college before I dropped out, um... I stopped eating breakfast, but then I read something that like people who have breakfast actually tend to lose more weight. So I'm trying that out as part of being a little healthier. I'm sorry, I'll be putting stuff away as I go because that's just me and my OCD. Now, whole wheat flour was not easy to find. I think we got ours at Myers, but Bob's Red Mill is what I use a lot for like my gluten free and my whole wheat stuff. Just because my mom um, has HS and she has to go gluten free. So we recently made her gluten free bread. If you want to see a video on that, let me know and I'll make one. So for, of the whole wheat flour, you need three-fourths cups. So one. Two. And a three. They have a, Bob Red Mills has a lot of like good flours and stuff and they had a whole wheat, uh, a gluten-free base we needed and it's not easy to find gluten-free stuff so we go with Bob Red Mills a lot and then you need three-fourths you need three-fourths cup sugar as well like that owl in those lollipop commercials. How many licks does it take to get to the center? Three. I look like crap today. I'm sorry guys. And then you need one tablespoon of baking powder. Which, to me, that seemed like a lot. I'm usually used to, like, teaspoons and 
little amounts of baking powder. That just seemed like a lot to me, but it actually worked out good. For me, at least. So one tablespoon of baking powder. We use the Baker's Corners. This is something that, like, I've used my whole life of baking and cooking, is we've always used this brand. And then you want to just stir that together for about a minute, maybe a little bit um, less time if you want. Oh no, what is that? Oh, see? I mess up too. Everyone makes mistakes. A little piece of the packaging from the flour fell in. I'm going to throw that away real quick. And now we're going to go on to our wet, which um, you want to do separately. You want to get a separate bowl for your wet items. to do the egg white Ooh, that up. which two egg whites I just bought the fit and active liquid egg whites so for this one table two tablespoons equal one egg white so we're gonna do four egg whites for this so we're gonna do four tablespoons of this two egg whites we're gonna use the same spoon One. I should push this back because I almost put this stuff in with the dries immediately when you're supposed to not do that. You're supposed to mix them separately and then pour them together. This is going to be two tablespoons. Three. So yeah, I just used the Fit and Active liquid egg whites. I got all this stuff either at Aldi, Shrek's, or Myers, which those are pretty common. cup buttermilk I just use though I use a lot of low fat so when I do my cooking videos just so you guys know I'll use a lot of low sodium low fat stuff just because I do like to try to be a little bit healthier so of the buttermilk you want two third cups Then applesauce. For the applesauce, we applesauce. We actually make our own applesauce. Um, this one you're gonna want to get unsweetened applesauce, unsweetened applesauce. But we don't put a lot of sugar in ours, so ours is already. But we make our own, just so you know. So I don't have a preferred brand for that. And then you just need a third cup for that. So I'm just gonna use the same one for um, the buttermilk. Oh, I'm gonna get a spoon. So 
you just want to make it, sh make sure it's unsweetened applesauce. I, like I said, I personally don't have a preferred brand just because we make our own. Now for vanilla extract, you're going to want one teaspoon. And we, this one that we got at Myers, I use a lot of vanilla extract. So I buy the bigger containers just because I know I'm going to use it. A lot of stuff like I bought when I bought the flour I bought a 10 pound bag of flour just because I know I'm gonna use it so might as well buy it in bulk and then you're gonna mix this together here just take a fork and whisk it together you could get a whisk too a fork Whatever you want to do. And then I got to check the oven real quick. You want your oven to be at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And my oven's at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It's really weird cooking without music. So then you just want to um, add your moist. Now a lot of recipes might tell you to gradually do this to add it in, but this one doesn't. It just says to add in. Okay. And then you're just going to want to stir this together until it's moist. So you're going to want your mixture. I'm going to have to move you guys here to kind of look like that. You don't want it to get too like blended but you just want it moist so kind of like that oh i'm falling and then the recipe says one cup of fresh or frozen blueberries but I like my blueberry muffins to be very blueberry, so I just kind of put whatever I have, which is, this is, looks to be about a cup, maybe a little bit more, but like I said, I like mine to be very blueberry. And then you're just going to mix that together for a couple minutes. Maybe not a couple minutes, just like until it starts getting blue, which mine is. I should have put that spatula in there. Oh well, new spatula. I just want to give it an extra stir just because there was still some pieces that looked white. And then you want your batter to look blue. Like I said, you want it to be a little bluish. And then we're going to start spooning it into the pan. And then these muffins are actually healthier than normal muffins because they don't have any butter. The app, we put the applesauce in this recipe instead of butter as a substitute to make it a little healthier. 
and then egg whites are better for you than a whole egg so that's why we did that now not every recipe I'm gonna do is gonna be like healthy stuff it's just right now I need muffins and I like this recipe so I thought I'd share it with you guys So, how do I move you guys down? Can I? I'm still learning my tripod. I've used it for watching Netflix and that's about it. So this will be a learning experience for the both of us. Ooh, you guys are gonna hate me. can't tilt you guys down. I might need to get a better one that I can tilt down. Kind of. But I'll show you the pans. How the pans look after I'm done spooning them. You want to fill them about like three-fourths of the way full. Not all the way so the muffins can rise. They're not going to be perfect, and some might have more than others, and that's fine. At least that's fine to me. Oh, my God. I spilled over a little bit. Like I said, some might be more filled than others. That's fine. You'll see what I mean. In a minute when I show you guys. Ooh. So like I said, I like making these because I literally wake up like 15 minutes before I have to go to work <laughs> like before I have to leave for work so I don't exactly have time to make breakfast so making muffins during the week is a lot easier the batter tastes really good too It's a lot easier for me in the morning than trying to make me like scramble eggs and having to wake up super early because I'm just not about that life. Because originally for this week, this upcoming week, I made banana nut coffee cake for me to eat, and I just made it yesterday, and already my family has eaten half the cake, so I was like, oh, I should probably make muffins, because I don't think this cake's going to last very long. I hate how good the batter tastes because I just want to eat the batter. If you guys want, oh, if you guys want the banana nut coffee cake recipe and want to see me make it, let me know and I will make a video of it. It was really good to the point that like I made it yesterday. And already half the cake is gone. I was like, guys, this is supposed to be my breakfast in the morning, but thanks. And my fiance this morning was like, um, by the way, because my fiance, oh, I got engaged, guys, by the way. Thank you. It's been a while since I've done the whole YouTube thing. 
which I don't exactly feel bad about because it's not like I really have any subscribers. But the reason I'm not going live is because YouTube told me that my to go live on mobile, which I use my phone for all this, so that's why everything's shitty. Is I have a shitty um, tripod, and then I have a my shitty phone that I stream off of and record off of. Because I don't see the point in getting very fancy equipment if this is literally just me goofing around and no one's gonna watch this. This is just me having fun. Some of these are a little bit more full than the others. I only got one pan's worth this time. Last time I got like one and a half, so these are definitely going to be a bit bigger, which is my bad. But you want to cook these for about 22 to 25 minutes. I think last time I did 23. I like to go... I like to do that like halfway point so it's not overcooked and like if it's undercooked I could just throw it back in the oven for a few more minutes. Um, I check it with a toothpick app like when the timer goes off where you just stick it, the toothpick in the item and then if it comes off with stuff on it that means it needs more time. If it comes off clean then it's done and you take it out of the oven. So that's my blueberry muffin with no butter and no whole eggs. I hope you guys enjoy. Bye.